What's up guys, Ray and Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we'll be taking a look at the Yakuzi Crystal Clear Screen Protector for the MacBook. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the MacBook and give you guys my quick in-depth review. I reviewed a couple of screen protectors for the MacBook in the past, one from Power Support as well as another one from Moshi. Both are really good screen protectors, however they were anti-glare screen protectors which featured a matte uh, display, which although looked nice and uh, repelled fingerprints, they also degraded the quality of the retina display ever so slightly. So I picked this up off of Amazon for 10 bucks, so really can't go wrong with that. And this is a crystal clear screen protector from some brand called Kuzi, which I never heard of. But uh, yeah, the screen protector itself took three weeks to deliver, which kind of sucked. And this big goodie package full of stickers to remove dust and alcoholic white pads and microfiber cloth and an instruction manual. So here is a before picture. And here it is with the screen protector on. So I did originally wanted to record the uh, installation process, however it was a lot more tedious than I thought. It actually took me about half an hour, I probably spent 20 minutes, I don't know, 15 minutes trying to align it because the screen protector cutout is pretty much cut perfectly around the border of the glass display here, which means without any wiggle room or space, you can't really maneuver it around so you have to get it dead on. So it did take me about probably... 10 to a dozen times to try and realign this perfectly. And basically you need two people to put the screen protector on. Two hands on one side, two hands on the other side, and lay it down flat. It's really difficult to do with uh, just yourself uh, because the screen protector is so flimsy. Once it gets stuck on a spot, it's hard to realign unlike the past screen protectors I reviewed. So after trying to realign it for about 10 times, I got a lot of dust underneath which really sucked because they created bubbles. Thankfully the included stickers helped me lift the screen protector uh, from left to right here and I was able able to remove the dust thanks to the uh, tape but I just used some 3N tape uh, for the removal process. And although it was a tedious process, you can't negate the fact that if you get it down right and do it perfectly, uh, the results are pretty pleasing. One of the downsides with the crystal clear screen protector is as I mentioned earlier, you do remove the anti-glare coating off the MacBook. I don't mean like physically remove but because you're covering that, it's not obviously going to work because now you have a glossy crystal clear plastic film on top of that anti-glare coating. And one more thing I do want to note is that don't bend the screen protector or uh, kink it or anything like that. I accidentally did it right there and it left a small little mark. It's pretty unnoticeable. I had to actually increase the exposure on my camera to show you guys. Uh, but again, just be careful you don't bend it or anything like that. So one of the great things about the crystal clear screen protector over the anti glare screen protectors is that you get a nice unaffected retina display that shines through. Here's a closer look at the icons on the bottom here and after using this for about a day now I want to say the uh, retina display works perfectly well and looks exactly like it did before. None of it's affected, it's not distorted, no oily effects, no um, pixelation that the uh, anti-glare screen protectors tend to kind of create and so overall I'm pretty pleased with the uh, results that the retina display is unaffected which is one of the biggest reasons why I may want to splurge on a crystal clear screen protector. However other than mimicking the glossy display of the MacBook and unaffecting the retina display everything else is pretty much a con. First off as I mentioned earlier you do lose the anti-glare coating so if I can just turn my MacBook off for a second it does act as a pretty big mirror. Now under indoor lighting, it's not a huge deal or anything like that, but if you're close to a window at full sunshine or outside, uh, that may be become an issue with the reflections. The other issue I found with the screen protector is that it is a fingerprint magnet. If you put your fingers on here, even if they're clean, um, it does catch any piece of grease or whatnot that's on your hands and it gets stuck on the screen protector here. So if you want to keep this nice and clean, you do have to clean it pretty frequently. And as I already mentioned, another con with the screen protector is the installation process. Very tedious, patience in regards to people. Uh, again, you can't negate the results with a nice crystal clear screen protector on your MacBook once it's perfectly installed, but nonetheless, it's not the most fun thing to do. That being said, for 10 bucks off of Amazon, at least that's how much I paid for it, and other than the long shipping wait, it is a pretty good deal for a, an insp uh, inexpensive screen protector. In conclusion guys, I do recommend the screen protector for those of you looking for protection for your MacBook screen. Although MacBooks aren't touchscreens, it's not really completely necessary as a must-have accessory, but nonetheless, you want to protect that screen and your investment, which these MacBooks aren't cheap, you definitely can't go wrong with the Koozie screen protector. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys have any questions or comments about the screen protector, ask me in the comment section there down below. Hit that like button as always helps me out and I'll see you on next video.